Welcome to Pattern Public Speaking. I'm Jimmy Hendrick. Today we're dealing with a class that deals with stage presence and manners. Hope you guys are enjoying this journey here. We are in the, I think toward, a little bit more towards the middle of this semester. It started the, uh, it started the 9th of June. It will end sometime around the 18th of August. So I hope you guys don't mind. We're going to be talking about stage presence and manners. First part, of course, manners. Yesterday, I went to a Toastmasters meeting where we had a, a, a good, it was a small crowd, but it was sizable enough to go back to protocol where the speaker coming up shakes the hand of the speaker who is finishing. And I think that that should be protocol for professional speaking as well. It really should be. Because then it shows, you know, hey, you're working together as a team. Whether you're a, a keynote speaker or even even a platform speaker. Even a platform speaker. You're working together as, as a team. And, and that's important. That's important. Now, the next step is stage presence. Now, what do I mean by stage presence? How do you present yourself on stage? Do you have the confidence that's needed to, to speak in public? In almost any size audience. Yeah, even if only one person shows up to your event, you should have some confidence to speak to that person. Or, let's say, 300 to 3,000 people show up, okay? That's, that's kind of common in events as well. You need to have that stage presence to where you're speaking to them directly. Okay? But one thing I learned from Toastmasters, you know, manners are certainly not, not anything to be farting around about. And stage presence especially is not something you need to be farted around about because... Quite frankly, your stage presence shows your confidence, your ability to roll with the punches and deliver the content that's real to your audience. You see, you have to be able to, to do that. No, no questions asked. Okay, stage presence is, is, is very important. Now, of course, the beginning of the su this summer, I gave some nuts and bolts. I gave the uh, <coughs> I gave the three elements of a speech: introduction, body, and, and, con and conclusion. I talked about writing, living, and speaking your content, along with a variety of things. But stage presence is where you put it all together. And I'm going to give you some recommendations in order to have that strong stage presence. First of all, and this is just my belief, okay, as a professional speech speaker, go to the event with professional quality dress. I have a mentor. We were talking about uh, uh, manners yesterday as far as Toastmasters is concerned. And he's the one thing he said he admired about me <laughs> was that I, when it comes to going to a Toastmasters meeting, I dress professionally. And I, I remarked to the club that I'm desiring to go professional. And so I have to have that uh, professional decorum the professional quality because it's important that people see me that way. Because you see, I I have watched videotapes on, on, on YouTube of motivational speakers 
and the vast majority of them are dressed in highly high quality, professional quality uh, clothing. Usually a suit, ja you know, a dress shirt, jacket, sometimes a tie. And so that's the thing. And come early. Here's nothing. Come early. Get your feel of the stage, especially if you don't know the area. Let the um, sound people, the audio people, know what you're going to do. Some people prefer, prefer just to stand on stage, which, because of my visual impairments, unless the stage is pretty low, I'm, I'm going to be on that stage. I'm going to be tethered to that stage, you know, because two falls in 15 months, January 2018, April 2019, I don't want any more falls. So, you know, no offense to my audience, I'd still connect with them. But I would be meandering around the stage. I would like to come early so I can get the feel of the stage. And, and that's, a, that's a good thing. And, and connect with some of the people before you go on stage. That's important right there. See, Pattern Public Speaking, this, this podcast course is not for beginners. This is for people that, you know, they have been speaking a number of years. Or they've been developing their craft through podcasting or whatever. And they decide, hey, I want to go professional. I want to go professional, which I, I'm, I want you to join me on this quest. I'm assuming none of us have arrived, and so stage presence. Stage presence helps you helps you arrive, helps you get there. Yesterday, I got a, spe I got a speech at, at, at Toastmasters, and I recorded it for my YouTube audience. And people were awed by it at Toastmasters, but I watched it at you on, on, um, on my phone video, and the stage presence was terrible. People can see me all that well, which is very poor. So I know from now on to work on improving my stage presence. And I think that's something we need to we need to continually work on even after we go professional. And with that, I hope you enjoy listening to Pattern Public Speaking. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of the Pattern Public Speaking Classroom. It's Jimi Hendrix saying until next time, class is adjourned, and go out there and practice your craft. Have a blessed day. God bless you.